Woo! I feel so good in my spirit. I have to share this word with you guys, but I got to give you a little background. The Lord had me go out into the woods. Some of you seen the video the other day and he said, you know what? Just go back to that place where I first touch you, where I first breathe on you. He said from that place, right? Where we first fell in love, watch where we go from here. And man, I just, I felt the spirit of God so strong on me. I was out there, you know, in the woods, just praising like I used to worship him. And I felt something just come over me, the peace of God, the love of God, the joy of God, right? And it was so overwhelming. I felt intoxicated. I felt like, man, just, 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 I felt under the influence of the Holy Spirit. And so I put this message together, right? I'm going to preach about being under the influence. And Pastor David Lynn, he comes to the church, you know, after I find out, hey, he's coming. And I said, you know what? I'm, I'm going to let him get up there, give a little exhortation uh, since he's coming. And he starts talking about being under the influence. And I get I get them chills in my spirit again because I didn't tell anybody what I was going to preach. And I showed him, you know, my, my notes, my tablet. I pulled it up. And I mean, we had church. And then many of you saw the live uh, that, you know, I brought him on. That was just anointed. That was powerful. And so I just, I'm on a, ooh, Jesus. I'm just on some kind of like just... I hate to say it this way because it's going to make religious people mad. I'm so high in the spirit right now. You know, I, I got so much joy and so much peace about what God is doing. I mean, I was happy waking up at five o'clock this morning and rolling the garbage cans down. And I hate doing that. But I I, I was I felt good. I said, man, it, it feels good to get the garbage out of the house. It feels good to roll the garbage down to the corner because it's something about when you when you're under the influence. All right. Not of your feelings, your emotions of what's going on in the world. But when you're under the influence uh, of God, let this mind be in you. When you spend so much time in the presence, I was talking to them yesterday to get drunk, right? You, 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 you can't just take a little sip. You can't take a little gulp. You gotta, you gotta indulge that thing. And the more that you drink, right? It goes through your blood. It gets in your blood, right? And the more that you drink, the longer it takes to get out your system. The more you spend time in the presence of God, right? In prayer and reading your word, it gets in your system. David says, I've hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. And so it's like, it's just bubbling up. And I'm just like super. I came home just, just glowing. Like, you know, I'm like, like baby man, church was awesome. You know, she just had the baby. So she's resting and I'm just feeling so good in my spirit and I'm just worshiping. I'm worshiping. I'm worshiping. I'm so excited. I'm so in love with Jesus. Like I feel renewed. I feel restored. I feel like the best is yet to come. And so I drop my kids off at school and, and, and I'm riding back and I feel the presence of God with me just like I did the other day. And the Lord says in one year, clear as day. He says, in one year, I'm about to change everything dramatically. In one year, people are about to be vindicated. In one year, some of you are going to go from the bottom to being on the top, being who God has called you to be. Some of you have been wondering, you've been looking and saying, God, why do these people get to represent the kingdom? Why do the wicked get to prosper? Why am I going through this? Why is my marriage going through this? When is my business going to take off? When am I going to see the promises of God in my life? And God says, look, in one year, the word he gave me, one year dramatic change. And I wrote it on Facebook. I typed it. I said, guys, in one year, God just told me there's going to be dramatic change. And I said, like this comment, comment on it so we can come back in one year and test and see if it was true. Like dramatic change. There's going to be dramatic change in the politics. There's going to be dramatic change in the churches that have been faithful, that have been consistent, that are not about the money, that are not about the fame, but they just want to see Jesus glorified. There's going to be dramatic change on just the landscape of of what is religion and tradition. We're going to start moving into truth. There's going to be a dramatic change of the guard. The first shall be last and the last shall be first. I feel this thing so strong in my spirit, guys. Mark my words. In one year, your whole life is going to change. And let me tell you something. One word from God is all it takes. One word from God to change your life. All it took was God pulling up at Moses on the burning bush or pulling up on Saul on the Damascus road. And his whole life was changed. If you, if you follow this word that I'm giving you today, if you receive this word, it will not fall to the ground. It will not return void. I promise you that right now. Listen, God had said, uh, you know, during what 2014, 2015 said, if you build it in the season, I'm going to bless it. 
everything that I've built up until this point, God has blessed it. No matter what people say, the church is blessed. The ministry is blessed. We just keep growing. Everything that I touch, we're growing. Everyone around me, they're growing. And, and, and God said, in one year, I'm really going to make this thing. And man, I'm telling you, I'm feeling so good in my spirit. I feel like, hop, I feel it so strong. I, I want to hop out the car and I want to do a backflip right now. Like straight up, come on. Ooh, Jesus. I feel like doing a backflip. Mm -mm. Oh, hallelujah. Ah, hallelujah. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. I feel this thing so strong in my spirit, guys. <laughs> oh, they definitely, they definitely gonna say I'm crazy. But mark my words, one year, one year, and you're about to see dramatic change in your marriage, in your family, in your ministry, in this country. I talked about seeing the wave. Go look at it if you've never seen that video. Almost a million views on YouTube, that wave. God is doing something. I wish it the greatest move of God ever, but it's gonna be with people whose hearts belong to the Lord. Not culture, not race, not a political party, not religion, not tradition, not denomination. The ones whose heart truly belongs to the Lord and the Lord knows who that is. And if that's you, then this word is for you. And let everything that you do be blessed in the name of Jesus. Let everything you do prosper. In the name of Jesus, receive it in the name of Jesus. Go to www.marcusrogersministries.org. If you receive this word and you want to partner with me, you want to support what we're doing in Chicago, you could use all the help I can get. I got a big vision. I got big plans. And uh, pray about it. Go stream Case of Grace, the album. And y'all.